Well, the copper price has been trending down for a couple of years now, but last night it dropped off a cliff. It's sometimes called Dr Copper because of the way it takes the pulse of the economy, in which case the patient is unwell at the moment. It fell more than 5% last night because the World Bank yesterday downgraded its forecasts for the world economy and also because American retail sales fell more than expected in December. Consumers spent less on gasoline, that's true, but they didn't turn around and spend what they'd saved on something else. Other metals also fell, but not as much, and there was a big rally by the oil and gas prices, which may or may not be a turning point. Probably not. The US share market also fell because of the disappointing retail sales figures and there were big falls on European exchanges, probably because of that World Bank economic report, even though it was just catching up with everyone else, and even though the European Court of Justice approved the central bank's plans for more aggressive economic stimulus. The local market was weighed down by all this, with resources stocks and banks all falling by 1% or more. But retailers like West Farmers went up, probably because of the fall in unemployment, and Telstra hit $6.20 for the first time since May 2001. And speaking of unemployment, a couple of graphs on today's release. First, when it comes to employment, Australia really is to speed. There's New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland and WA, all with between 150 and 200,000 new jobs since January 2010. And then there's South Australia and Tasmania, with none. And second, is this good or bad? Employment is up and unemployment down, but hours worked per worker are also down. More time in front of the telly perhaps, but it's holding back wages growth, especially to those getting paid by the hour. And that's finance.